Thanks for coming back and checking out my next project. Today I'm going to be making my palette contest project entry. And you can see I'm going to be making a um, little stereo for the phones, you know, to show, uh, to make the sound a little bit better. I can use it in the bathroom, somewhere like that, when I'm getting ready for work or taking a shower. That, that way that I can have a little bit more sound if I want to listen to some music while I'm uh, doing that kind of stuff. Uh, normally Sterling Davis has done the palette challenge, but this year I believe it's going to be Simply Wood Creations. Let's just put it on. And I'll put links to Sterling Davis and Simply Wood Creations in the description of this video. So make sure you go check out their their channels, subscribe to them, and support the sponsors of the challenge because it's awesome getting to do this kind of challenge. And it's awesome that, that the community comes together and all the sponsors that help make this happen every year. And a special thanks to Simply Wood Creations. As you know, since this is a, my this will be my fourth entry in the palette contest challenge. Um, you've seen that I get these palettes, and I have some of them taken apart here on the table already that are put together with those wood screws. Well, one thing you can see here is like you can see these short boards here. I got a few tips when you're taking palettes apart with screws and not with screws because. If you're like me, you're going to end up running some of these through the planer. As you can see, I've already ran a couple of my boards I'm going to be using through the planer here. And you can see here, let me come closer. These screw holes that are there, there's a couple of them there. When you run it through your planer, your table saw, anything like that, you don't want to hit screws and nails and things like that that tears up your blades, your planer blades, because I mean, if you have uh, a planer blade gets nicked, it ruins the whole thing, so you definitely don't want that happening. So what I would say is, what I've done when I take these apart is I mark if there's a nail or screw that I miss. With For these I use a white crayon, and I go back and cut it off and I throw that away because this palette wood is free to get. So having pieces like this isn't the idea, uh, ideal, but it's better than having a longer piece that has a nail in it or screw in it that I can go through and hit my table saw, like I said, plane or something like that and tear up blades. So think about that. If you are getting pallets for free somewhere, there's no need to save every piece. It's better to cut these off and not wait and, uh, and waste a little bit of the wood rather than worry about hitting a screw or nail later when you're making your project and ruining something that costs more than the pallet did. First thing I got going on here is I'm going to clean up these edges of this rough pallet wood. I've already checked to make sure both my boards are flat here on the sides, and they are, so that'll be good to help us line these up when we go to glue them together here in just a minute. But now we're gonna go ahead and cut, we're gonna rough cut these boards to their final length. When I say rough cut, we're gonna cut them a little over so that we can have some extra play to trim them off once they're glued together. And so on this board, I know I wanna save this knot. It looks kinda of cool with this grain, so I'm gonna put this as the top piece. So I'm going to trim this edge to get it straight across there and square with this side. Then I'll cut it to the length after that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and make my measurements for how I want my design to look for the centerpiece.
just enough to get good coverage, but not enough that I'm gonna have a bunch of squeeze out. Okay, now we'll turn this back over, line it up on the back and front and the sides. Set that on there just like so, and nail it. Now we're ready, ready to, to add this last piece in here. Now we're ready to square up the sides. We'll go take that to the miter saw. Today I'm gonna try some tongue oil finish. I've actually never used tongue oil before, so I'm not real sure what to expect. So here we go. Oh, this was a good choice. That looks beautiful. This little guy is finished. The oil on this, and that I use that tongue oil, like I said, and it looks it looks real nice where I use it at. You can see that grain. I'll show you a close up of it here in just a minute. It looks really nice. I like the way this turned out. Make sure you go check out Simply Wood Creations and like their page. I'm sorry, follow, subscribe to them and like their videos and check them out because I appreciate him putting on the. Uh, Pallet Challenge this year, Sterling Davis, go check out his page as well. Give him a shout out here as well. If this happens to be your first video of mine you've seen, you might want to hit the subscribe button at my channel because i got other pallet projects and other videos coming out that you might be interested in. Also, you can follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram. I post pictures of the projects that I'm working on them. I haven't been as active here recently, but I plan on being more active here soon. So check me out there. If you like this video, leave a comment below or hit that thumbs up button. That helps the YouTube analytics guides and stuff make these videos more viewable to other viewers like yourself. Thanks again for watching and as always, y'all will see me next time. Look at that grain.